Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 5 and I'm going to talk about URP, shaders, materials, and textures. Shaders are small scripts that define how every single pixel is rendered. You can think of them as mathematical formulas, which define the behavior of the outputs. Materials are like sets of data you feed to shaders. The properties of a material is purely based on the shader used. You can define the values and preferences to feed to the shader. Materials are what we apply directly to meshes. Textures are bitmap images that we feed to the materials. They will be mapped onto a mesh based on the shader behavior and material settings. The higher the texture resolution is, the more storage space and runtime memory are required. Universal Render Pipeline, or URP for short, is a rendering technology developed by Unity. It provides optimized performance for games targeting multiple platforms that do not require a lot of real-time lighting. Lighting and shading is traded off for performance. If you are a mobile game developer, URP will be a good friend. In URP, shaders can be created using visual notes. That means we no longer need to edit the shaders via scripting anymore. But if you wish, you can also script the shaders by yourself. To install URP, we can download and import the package via the package manager. We first need to create a render pipeline asset. And drag it into the scriptable render pipeline settings field in a graphics section of the project settings tab. Notice the existing meshes in the scene become magenta. Since we've applied a URP asset, materials using standard shaders cannot be rendered properly. Fortunately, there is a conversion tool available to quickly convert standard shaders to URP shaders. To access this tool, go to Window, Rendering, Render Pipeline Converter. From the drop-down list, select Build In to URP. Scroll down and check the Material Upgrade checkbox. Hit the Initialize Converters button on the bottom left, and a list of materials should show up. Select the materials you want to upgrade, and click Convert Assets. And there we have successfully converted standard shaders to URP shaders, getting rid of the magenta meshes. Let's talk more about the material properties. The base map is the original texture. The metallic and normal maps allow you to customize the way the texture is shaded. You can play with the metallic and smoothness sliders to adjust the brightness and the reflectiveness of the material. There are many external tools available to easily create these maps. The emission property makes the material shine itself. Tiling sets the scale of the texture, and we usually use the tiling values to make the texture appear smaller, and vice versa. The offset property shifts the textures on a mesh. I usually check this enable GPU instancing property as it reduces the number of draw calls for identical meshes, improving the overall performance. And that are the basics of shaders, materials, textures, and URP. This is episode 5 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.